So here we have the GAN 13 Maglev Frosted. The UV coated one will be available soon. Design this time, and there we have the cube. Right, okay. 18 seconds, not great, really. Right, oh, this does feel nice. My fingers do feel a bit cold for some reason, so I might not keep as well right now. But anyway, let's try it out. It does have a very strange feeling, actually. I think it, it. I think it is just like the edge, center edge, like the extra magnets do make it feel a bit weird, but still feels very nice. So I mean, if you're Considering using this as your main, then you'd have to get used to it a bit, but I definitely think people can get used to it. Right, let's do some solves on it. Today, let's give that another go. Right, okay. I really am not awake today, am I? <laughs> 14 because I literally inserted the F2L pad the wrong way around. <sighs> can I wake up? Can, can I wake up and actually get some good solves on what sh should hopefully be the best cube on the market right now, considering it costs £67? No, I can't right now. Okay. But anyway, yes, the cube does feel very good. Um, well, it's hard to test corner cutting because I think they've still got some of the sort of auto alignment features. So, I like try and, try and test the corner cutting and sometimes it just snaps right back into place, making it difficult for me to test. But like you can see, you can see that it's like it won't actually do the cut, but it just lines itself back up right away. But I mean, line it line to line all the way. Yeah, it's, I don't think there is a blank spot in the corner cutting, which is always a good thing. Much better than the likes of the Tornado V2. Um, what else? Let's take a piece out. So. Okay, so we've got, yeah, we've got magnets on the bottom of the edges as well, which, where do they connect to? Oh, I can't see anything in the core that these connect to, so maybe they don't, but they just kind of, ah, uh, I, I reckon, so you can see in the core, you've got, like, you've got magnets in the cork to the corners, but then you've also got magnets on the edges, which I suspect when it's like going across, then I have heard they repel, but I don't know about that. Um, I can't imagine they would repel, but anyway. Um, and then, yeah, it lines straight up and produces extra magnetic attractivity. It's, Makes the cube even better, hopefully. 
Right, so let's see what's in the box. We've got this silly card that nobody uses or cares about. And we have this silly bag that nobody cares or uses. Otherwise I would have sold my 30 something off them. Um, I haven't tried. Okay, and yeah, they're not all again. So actually nothing special, no special accessories at all actually. That's interesting. So I'm guessing all the adjustability can be done with your bare hands. I'm not going to attempt it myself right now, but um, yeah, that's very interesting. Right, let's do another solve on it, see what happens. Yeah, um, I think it's going to take some getting used to because it does it does feel really nice, but there's just some things that I'm just not used to in it. Um, but I'm I'm definitely going to give it a go and probably compete with it in a average and chip and them because I just do that now. <laughs> can't go and stick with one cube and just mess around drawing out every cube. But yeah, um, I mean, if you've got £67 to spend on a cube, then this is probably a good cube, but um, it certainly won't be for everyone and um, probably takes a bit of getting used to with some of the new features. But um, yeah, it's £67 at speedcubing.org, which is very expensive for a 3x3, but it is GAN, it is their new flagship, what do you expect? The UV coated version will be coming soon and will probably feel similar but have a UV coating on it, as they always do. And will probably be maybe £73, £74, something like that. So even more expensive, but hopefully the best cube on the market. But that's up to personal preference. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, more videos will probably come soon. So, um, what are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm doing my engineering. Okay. What do you think of the cube? What? Tr as in try it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's got a nice feel. It's got like a matte feel to it. Very smooth. As you can tell, I'm not a speed keeper. But, um, thank you very much. So, how much would you pay for a cube like that? Well, <laughs> as I said, I'm not a speed cuber, but I know roughly the price um, I would estimate. I'd be willing to pay, I'd say, maybe 15 to 20 or more. Interesting. I wonder if my viewers will want to watch you finish this off. Say again? I wonder if my viewers will want to watch you finish this off. So I've got to finish it now. Yeah. Might have to speed it up.